What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another special, 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 special episode, man. It's your boy Mike Sanchez. It's your boy Repeat. Yeah, I know it's who's in the building. Dog, Come on, Remy A in the motherfucking building. We're yes, excited sir. today. You Mike, you want to stop talking about this one? Yo, man. Mike Yo. was ready for this one. Yo, but y'all, y'all already know, Six in know, the morning. Though. Yo, you ready, bro? <laughs> he ready, bro. You look at the oh, notes, he bro? He ready. He's like, he was like a school <laughs> teacher. He's like 7 a.m. Come on, yo. Make sure everything's straight. <laughs> yeah, I know. Before we get into that, don't say this. Say that. <laughs> yes, sir. Mike. Fire, man. Hey. Yo, Who man. Who the heck we got yo, today? Man. We got I, I need big, to stand bro. up, do some jumping jacks, something, yo, bro. bro, just to warm it up. <laughs> big vibes. Yo, man, this big is somebody, vibes. this is somebody you better know who he is before, you know, it's too late. Make sure you grab him now before he blows up and it's in a different galaxy, up. man. I'm very happy to introduce you guys to Jesus. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me, man. Y'all are dope. I really do appreciate it. And check this out. Before we get started, um, like I said, J4 is in the building. Hey, and um, sir. also, also um, so I really want to appreciate them because they've been looking out for me since like literally probably about like eight years. Wow. They've been looking wow. out. Just, just, helping me, team. just helping me push and do all that. I also have a team that I call Blunders. It's the same family. Um, and what we got. Oh, shit. What we got uh, today. Just some shirts for y'all. Hey. Yo. Yo, he gifted me something? Hey. For real. Yo, did this man just <laughs> so, gift me something? So we got we got we got a large oh we got two God. larges and an extra large. Like, how did you know? And, and well, <laughs> if if they're wrong, I'm blaming Mike. So, <laughs> so that's all I'll say. But yeah, I just I, to, I just like, did the quick guy test, you, you know feel me? Yo, we yo, got I appreciate so, it, bro. Thank you. Yo, put that on the shot. Yeah, that's so that's blunder that's blunder spirit collected. Wow. So yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's our that's I'm our. Blessed. I'm blessed, sold, bro. <laughs> Thank you. How much you want, nigga? I support you. <laughs> <laughs> Come no, 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 live in my house. <laughs> that, that's that, that's on us, man. That's it's just from the episode. That's Liddy. Thank you so much, nah, Jesus. No, no I pre- problem. Really man. appreciate that. Yeah, that's that's from from Blunders, um, Creative Collective. So we Excellent. we just believe in living life, making blunders like along the way. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, don't judge yourself for the mistakes that are going to happen. You know, I'm sure you guys have been in this creative journey and sometimes maybe episodes don't go how they planned or like something messes up. You know what I'm saying? Embrace those mistakes and keep pushing. Um, I know I've made a thousand, um, maybe more. I recorded for a year with the mic backwards. Wow. Can you believe that? Okay, for, for a year, the Still mic fired up. Still fired up. <laughs> Still fired up. Still fired up. Hey, but so you why know, is my audio fucking up? Hey, but you know what? <laughs> as soon as I flipped it back, I was like, man, this sounds really good, man. I, I'm better than I thought. So, yeah. So, just wanted to, like, it, you know, to push that for everybody to embrace their mistakes for sure. Wow, bro. Thank you so much. Yo, one Jesus. thing that always stood out to me from Jesus, obviously, the, the first shock with the music. Um, but, yeah, man, it's just hearing you talk how... how how deep of a thinker you are and how it translates to your music i always always really like that for, from you man and from an artist as well so first time to boston man welcome to the bean bro oh, i know you seven i know you was a little bit you know afraid of the cold but i called my weather guy for you make sure everything's <laughs> straight bro you know so wait, wait. i appreciate it first time in boston ever first time man ever. first time never wow. never been up to boston I, I i i'm in new york like you know doing some stuff and mike had actually hit me up before like just before everything like really like took off and he was like bro i really like your music and it was just genuine so i was like oh cool you know i, I appreciate it and that's how he was doing his thing you know what i'm saying and y'all are just doing y'all's thing up here so i was like man you know what i gotta come up here and show support for the people who are actually grinding and doing the work you know what i'm saying as opposed no, to being like you know what i'm it. saying just yes, just right. come on and do it and you're not doing anything so yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all right, so i appreciate that for real yeah i appreciate that too man so you know for those people that may be new to jesus Y'all late, man. Get on. But who are you, my guy? So um, I am Mr. 33 Degrees. Hey. Um, so so basically, um, I, I grew up, I was born in California, but I grew up in West Bank, Israel. Um, and then I ended up actually um, kind of moving all around everywhere. Um, I'm one of seven kids. Um, so seven? I, got my, I got my little brother over here, too, who's also my producer. Shoot him. Um, Shout so, out, little bro. Gotta so keep the money in the fam. Yeah, the so, fam. So, so, yes, yeah, sir. So play, play, play beats is in the house uh, for sure. So, yeah. Um, but I'm just I'm just one of those people, man. I just I just believe in kind of em- embracing like your journey and your process. You know what I'm saying? Like like 33 degrees is all about um, like 33 degrees is where you melt an ice cube. Right. So from 20 to 28. Right. That's all that work that you're doing and no one sees it. So it's like you feel like you haven't moved. Right. But then all of a sudden, 33 degrees, that's when the ice cube melts. And now you get everything that you ever wanted. Right. So it's like, you know, say that podcast, as soon as all of a sudden you guys get a million streams, that's the 32 degrees. And they're going to act like y'all didn't put out 32 episodes before that. Yeah. They didn't think we was gonna, working. Uh, you know, right. That's, working. that's what it looks like. That's a crazy theory. Like. Right? That's fire. Yo, that bro, right? I'm telling you, when I heard that, I was Sully. like. That like I was gonna say that crazy. Like, yeah, I was like, shit. 
That shit yeah. moved me a certain For real. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but, but that's real. I mean, with everything, like, you have to, you have to put in the work. You have to put in the time. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, as quickly as certain things rise, they can also fall. Right. Mm -hmm. So if it yeah. takes so if it takes you time to build it, to get to where you want to go, those are the things that are that are lasting. Right. It's when you put in that in that work behind it, because really, if y'all did one episode and it blew up and it got however many, y'all probably panic like the next day. We were talking about that in the car on the way here. Like, what if my first song was go? I'd have been like, oh, shit. Like, what do I do next? You right. know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's a the pressure it, to make another hit. Right. Right. Like, and then and then it's to not grow. It's to like stay in the same place that you just were. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. That's, that's Yo, and congratulations important. on that, bro. Well Appreciate deserved. Well, you, if you. you haven't listened to it, go check it out. Go by Jesus. Check it out, man. The video's dope too, man. <laughs> Appreciate Vibes. it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Vibes, Appreciate man. It. So, um, you know, last, one of the times we spoke, I remember you saying something along the lines that one of the craziest things you ever decided to do was to actually take music as a career. So talk to me a little bit about how, how that journey's going um, and, and how the expectations to reality differ. Oh, boy. Um, that's a great question, actually. Um, I think... So what was kind of happening was like I have a big um, I, I, I kind of had two careers at the time. I was like working in football, um, like soccer. Sorry. Football. I was about to say, uh, uh, yeah. So I was working in soccer and then also I was doing. Um, I'm like, he was a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he, he's, he's, he's like, like Devin he just kicked right. the ball. Like, right. right. <laughs> and then um, and then also I was kind of doing the music and I, I'll never forget. Um, I, I had like dropped now hiring because I had like quit my job. Cause I was like, oh, I'm quitting my job. So literally what happened as I was like getting ready to quit, I wrote all of now hiring in my office, right? I was working at a school. I'm not going to name them cause I don't want to mess them up, you know? No free and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for real, right? <laughs> Mike, you gotta, that. You gotta, <laughs> so like I, I wrote the whole thing and then I dropped it. And then I was like, yeah, you know, I made it. Um, and then like 52 people listened to it, you know, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, okay. that hard work, you know, like, yeah. And I was like, well, you know, maybe, maybe not, you know, <laughs> yeah. maybe not. Um, and then I, all of a sudden, like, um, I ran into a really fa a Grammy award winning producer, Craig King, who kind of discovered me. I was like, yo, you're dope. Um, so he invited me with his company called Rat Plug to like perform during Super, Super Bowl weekend when it was in Atlanta. Wow. So I was getting to like perform at all these That's different crazy. like shows and all these events. So then everything started to change. But at the same time, I had this, I had the whole football thing going on, right? The soccer thing. Um, I coached an all black girls team. Um, we won the state championship in Georgia. Um, so like I was kind of trying to balance all of that. And I remember feeling really stressed one day and I, and I went out into my backyard and I was like, and I was just like, I, I like to talk to my ancestors. I'm big on that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Hey, you know, like, can, can y'all guide me? Can you get, guys help me out? Teach me how to balance, teach me how to get a break. And that same day I shattered my leg. Right. And that break ACL? made me have to step. I shattered my patella, my kneecap. Oh, so damn. like it was completely damn. gone. Um, it was, it was, multiple surgeries. It was horrible rehabbing. Shit. I couldn't. I had to like relearn how to walk. I, had I to thought do I had it. Done. It was all this like crazy stuff that was going on. But then I realized in that moment what I asked for was the balance. Right. Let me know how to balance it. So guess oh, what? I can't do now. I can't, can't do soccer anymore. I can't be out like how I was out. Oh. What can I do though? Music. Exactly. Right. So I asked for the balance, but the thing is, it's never how you imagine it. Yeah. It just isn't. Right. Like, that's just not how it works. So then, once that happened, that was when I made recovery, which kind of was the recovery coming back from, from my knee injury yeah, and just I trying to kind of figure it out recovery. because it, like, I mean, slick, like, it, it broke me. You know what I'm saying? It, it definitely right. did. Like, it, it put me through something that I really mm. had to come out of. So that's kind of what really, like, shoved me into music. And then after that, I was like, man, like, I'm I'm chosen like I'm the one you know what I'm saying like I I know that within myself like you have to you know like no one no one jumps into a like a boxing ring or a UFC match thinking oh I'm coming in here to get knocked out yeah, right nah, like like you have practice. to come in to be like Especially yo I'm practice and train for right this like thing. I'm like if I'm if I'm going this hard then I gotta make sure you know that no nah, for sure man yeah, you know what I heard recently and this is crazy because uh, people fall in love with like performing mm -hmm. and and being on stage and the drugs that your body produces when you're doing that. So they say that once you do that a lot, not getting those, when your body's not producing them, it misses those drugs. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of artists get addicted to being on stage, addicted to rapping. Because when you're walking to somebody who don't know you, says, yo, bro, thank you. That shit is fire. I fuck. That love and that support, it does something to your body chemically. And so you mm -hmm. get you get very addicted at that, and then you want to be better at your craft so you can get more, more of that drug, more of that drug, more of that drug, and then you get addicted to that lifestyle. So that's why a lot of people 
feel like they have to rap or they you know what i mean like they 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 fall in love with that shit yeah no that's 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 real i think i think that i don't so like for me personally i always believe like moderation is the key right like like i can't i can't go too hard on anything right because the thing is like love and hate like live in the same place you know what I'm saying? So like that's fact. as much as as much as like people will love you, like there's a group that's building on the other side to like counter it. You know what I'm saying? Like at the same time, like y'all are growing, y'all are getting bigger. Like someone's going to be in the comment section being like, y'all are whack as fuck. Like someone's going to do that just because go. they they just have to they like they want to be seen. They're projecting they're They have pain. They want to share it on social media. Right. And they want to do it and they want you to feel how they feel. Mm-hmm. Right. Like so like I, I try to just make sure I balance like that, that love and the and, and all of that. And then knowing at the same time, man, that, you know, what I'm saying like I'm. I'm making my music like yes for people to hear, of course. But I, deep down, it's for me. Yeah, you know? that's you know dope. What I'm no, that's because super fire. like you said, like it's for you. In like 50 years, you're gonna look back and like be like, I did this shit. You know, that's the legacy. That's the legacy you want to leave behind as an artist. Right, it's for like, sure. And that's what anybody who's making music, even if some people always find it whack, it's like, well, that's their legacy. It's you not know? for you. We Maybe. hear once. And that's what they do, and and that's their work. So guess what? The work ain't gonna go away. You ain't gonna delete it. Right. So <laughs> it's always going to be there. Yeah. So that's why, and I like how you kind of, well, all, I should say, relate your music to, you know, the story of your life, like the struggles you went through and stuff like that, because I feel like a lot of people are shy to that fact. And they're kind mm-hmm. of afraid that, like, oh, my, you know, my struggles, my pain can actually be my success. My A lot of people almost, would try to suppress those feelings. Exactly. When, you know? And, and you know, everyone's different. So it's mm-hmm. like you can't really force it out of people. Mm-hmm. So how do you, like, are so oh i should say how are you so comfortable you know telling people the story of your life oh man so like i feel like i feel like my my comfort in being able to in being able to just tell my story was in that when i was going through it i felt really isolated so i felt like i was like man is anybody else going through like anything you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like because the thing is like there's different elements of music right like there's mm-hmm. turn up music when it's turn up time there's sad music when it's sad time there's happy music when there's this time so then i was like well what happens when there's someone like me who like who is going through what what I was going through? Like I I was separated from my family for about 10 years. Like I, I had like all these things. I was homeless when I was 17. Like I, I was going through all these different things and I wanted I was like, who is navigating this? And then I realized that that's my job. That's my responsibility to navigate it. Like I can't look outside for something for someone to tell my story like that's for me to tell. You know what I'm saying? So that's right. that's kind of where it came from. Yeah. Damn, that's super dope. So I heard you talking about, you know, you like speaking to your ancestors. I'm trying to get better at meditating. Mm -hmm. As of right now, I only know mindful meditation, but, you know, I'm hoping that through practices, you know, I do get better and hopefully can get in tune to to something. But um, in one of your songs, you said that playing hide and seek, you discovered your passions. So and then you said how you got, you know, a message from in a in a in an event, a message from your ancestors to kind of modify your passions. How do you feel um, that affecting your music, or is it allowed more time for it now? Oh uh, man, yeah, playing hide and seek is where I found my passion. So like that's that's kind of when you know how you jump in and out of stuff. Mm-hmm. You right. know what I'm saying? You jump in and you're like, yeah, I want to do it, but I didn't mean it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, we, nah, I, it's just for fun type shit. Right, right. I think we all do it, but we do it as like a mechanism to protect ourselves, right? Because we mm-hmm. don't want to get it. Who, who wants to get embarrassed, right? If I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a rapper, but you don't, no one in here likes it. So, right. But then I realize like I can't do it just for other people to accept me and, and like me because there's always an audience for anyone, but it's just about finding your audience, right? Whatever That's a fact. it is. Yeah. I tell people all the Major time, fact. and sorry for cutting you off, but I tell people all the time, it's like, bro, there's like 4 billion people on earth. If you can just get 17,000 people to like your music and each of them pay $20, $10, $15, $100, <laughs> hey, right. you, you, you don't got to work a nine to five no more. You bought your freedom. Right. People are so focused on being the, gr- the biggest thing on earth that they can't focus on their audience. And right. I, I feel a lot of people forget that. Like when you're too focused on getting people who don't like your, mu- who don't like your music to like your music, yeah. cater to your people that like your music. Right, right, right. Yeah, I had a question from a fan. I did a live one time and they were like, um, how do you address um, people who don't like your music? And I was like, I don't, because they don't like it. <laughs> yeah, right. Why? Why am I? T- what, exactly. what, what, what are we gonna talk about? Yeah. Like, like how you should like me? Like that's that's I don't like everybody. 
So why is everybody <laughs> gonna like me? Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not that's that, that's, that's a just, human condition. Yeah, like you mm-hmm. know, you know what I mean? Like I'm like I'm like so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run around and and be all uh, like like that and like oh like me like me like me. You know what? But if you support me, you know what I'm saying? I can I can give that energy back. And if for me, I look at it like this: when I walk into the store, I don't have any children, right? And I see like huggies, right? Like diapers, right? They don't mean anything to me. But I don't feel like I have to go online and bash Huggies. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't yeah. need to bash because that's just not for me. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that they're not a multi billion dollar industry. It doesn't mean that they're not successful. Huggies are just not for me, right? At this point in time, like, they're just not. So, like, I can pass on. But, you, but nowadays with social media and everybody having a voice, everybody want to, ah. Yeah, I hate, I hate Huggies. I saw them on the shelf and I hated them. Like, yeah. dude, you could have just kept walking, but yeah. you decided to stop, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so, like, people, you know, like, you got too much time. Yeah, <laughs> they be hating yeah. on inanimate objects. You got that. Yeah. And they just be sitting on the shelf and like, fuck them hookies. When you got too much time, you start hating on them. You just, when you got, when you have too many fucks to give, you start giving them shit out to Nana Matt. Right. <laughs> For real, you know what I'm saying? Like, you start giving your fucks out to like Yo. Nana Matt. Like, when you got 10 things popping off, you don't give a fuck about what's happening. You yeah, don't give I've, a fuck about what's happening. Yeah, I've never had anybody hate on me that's doing better than me. There you Damn. go. You know what I'm saying? That'd be some weird say shit. Say that. That'd be some weird That's shit. the definition. Say that. Say that. Yeah, like I've never had, you know what I'm saying? Kanye West ain't in my DMs telling me I'm not good. <laughs> right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Like it's, it's not that. It's like it's like Jimmy, who's in his third period class, who heard go and's like, I hope you die. Like Jimmy got yeah. issues. Damn. You know what I'm, I'm saying? saying. Like, go, it's I not, hope you get better. Yeah, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? That has hope nothing to do. pay off that college debt, bro. Yeah, like, that's, yeah, like, so I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, you know, we're, we're, we're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's going through something. I've gone through things myself. You know, that might not have been the way that I dealt with it, but especially like this particular generation and how social media has taken over. That's oh, just absolutely. how like people deal with their problems. And that's, and that's, that's okay. No judgment from me to them. You know, I hope everybody feels good and, and feels better because they deserve to. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously that's a decision you have to make for yourself that you want to feel better because nothing external fixes internal issues. Um, so you have to, you have to deal with yourself and, and it's, and it's hard to look in the mirror for sure. Damn, well, man. You got to put... Trying body, trying body patches. You know what I'm saying? They be fucked up on the inside, but they be trying to buy some shit to fix it. Like, yeah, yeah, goof. Yeah. For yeah. real, they they they, they want to just cover it. You know, cover the sun with a thumb. Cause that's what their mothers and their like parents that. do. It's the cycle. It's the cycle. Cause you learn. You look up and you learn from people next to you. That's why I like how you came with your people because you showing them love. Facts. Put the hat down. You made sure you shot them all at the beginning. You showed them love. Because when you love somebody, you support somebody, and they're working hard. Do that. Yeah. Do that. That's yeah, the least sure. you could do. That's the least. He you spent. Could do for hey, your damn. People. Like these people don't make sure they now, I'm know. Just, I'll be, t- I'll be yeah, tired I of motherfuckers not putting people on who working. And then this, I, I won't hold you. These people who aren't working are lying. They're mm-hmm. lying about their hustle. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they're hustling for the online people. I, just the internet, bro. Not, yeah, that's that's real. Because like even 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 me, right? Like like huge shout out to like Curious Creator who does like all my graphics and all of those things that are like super dope that that don't even like like my graphics were next level before I could even do what I could do musically because of how good she was, right? And then I have Yergi Uno who like who basically like mixes, puts everything together and then keeps me sane cuz like I'm telling y'all, after I dropped Welcome to Life that project, I had a song I was like, yeah, we're going to hit him with this. And it was like a rough a rough song like going back at people and he was like, "Bro, you don't got to do that." Right. You know, but like you need a team around you to trust yeah. that you can be like, yeah. "Okay, yeah, like these people have my best interest in mind," you mm-hmm. know? And y'all have that same function. So I know you guys understand what I mean. Like, yeah, exactly. like for yeah, sure. let's, let's chat it up. Let's figure out what's best, like not go personal with and it. And we actually talked about it on like a way back episode. Uh, shout out Malik Jakai. I remember this specifically. He said that, you know, you can when someone on your team, you can tell the difference between like hate and like, "Oh yeah, well maybe you should do this." Like it's not Hayden if it's a um, solution. It's a provide. solution. If it's a solu- right. if you're providing me a solution, then yeah, I'll listen to you. But if you're just straight up like, oh, the beat's whack. I'm like, okay, why well, is it whack? You know, the volume got to be up, be down. Do I got to do this to do that? You know, you can't just say something hateful and then not tell me why. Or if you say something else, it's like maybe be like, you know, I, I, I didn't think the beat should have went this way because it's like, give me that solution. Don't give me the hate. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sick too, bro. Like people gotta understand. I tell artists that I work with, like, yo, music is subjective. Somebody's not gonna like your music. It's all right. Mm-hmm. right I might not right. like your music. You gotta be able to take that criticism and sometimes be like, nah, bro, you're not listening right. Cause maybe I'm, cause maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have to hear it in a different tone. Maybe I have to. Be, maybe I'm not ready for this song right now. Whatever the the case is, but as an artist, some some artists are real sensitive. The egos, cause artists, you know, rappers, a lot of them are men. The egos. So once you tell them something like, nah, this is, dun, dun, 
you a hater. You don't fuck with their music, and it's like, yeah, you got yeah, something. Yeah, like my so my ego got shattered with my leg. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like, the, like it was like, like, like it, it, yeah, it was yeah, like right. it was like it just killed it. And then like a couple a couple months later, I actually had a really good friend um, <clears throat> who I was working with on like the on the soccer tip. Like he passed away. Um, his name was Promise Isaac. R.I.P. Um, Rest in and, peace. Yeah, and he and and he passed away. And then I remember just like what that sent me through, right? And I remember like feeling feeling like those those feelings and just being like just jacked by it. You know what I'm saying? So it was right. rough, for sure. Dude, I got a question for you, my dude. So sometimes when we spoke and you tell me you sometimes you get in the zone where you read a book a week. Yeah. You're you you used to coach soccer. You you're doing the music. I'm looking at the website, the merch, blunders, you got the vinyls. Man, what keeps you going? What keeps you going? Because uh, some yeah. of the songs I hear a lot of different, you know, things that have gone through your life. So so I yeah that's that's a that's a great question man. What I think what I think keeps me going is is I want to I just want to hit hit a point where I can like love people openly and freely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I can I can come out and I can show love. I can be like the light that I want to be in the world. And then also I do want to create um I do want to create stability for like my family. And by family I don't just mean like my actual family, but I mean my family as in J4, I mean my family as in anybody in blunders. Or, or anything like that, because at the same time, a tide, you know, when a tide comes up, all the boats come up with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, well, if they don't poke a hole in their own boat, right, then that's like, true. like, you know what I'm saying? Because that that that's what happens when everybody is working. Right. So it can't be one of those things where, you know, I want to make sure that that's clear. Right. It can't be one of those things where like, oh, just because one person makes it now, everyone holds on to that one balloon because then you start to sink it. Mm -hmm. Right. But all I want to be is the helium for more balloons. Right. I want to make sure that more people can fly. Um, and if I can do that through my music, then then by all means, you know, I'm for it. That's that's definitely what keeps me going, you know, because I remember the, the dark days, you know, when I was like, man, you know, I don't I don't know about it. And, you know, and, and I'm on the phone with J4 and they're like, look, you're the chosen one. You can do this. You have it. You're able. And I'm like, man, I don't even I don't even know. And then in like the span of like a year and a half. I'm calling like I'm the chosen one. I got this. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. it. You know, like that, that shift in mentality change. is what is what changes it all. Once you believe in yourself, that's everything. And I feel like you know people can be humbled to a certain extent. Like once you know you're good, you're gonna tell you, you're gonna talk your shit and be like, yeah, I am that good. And like you know what I'm saying? Because even in rap, I feel like you know you want to be humble. Even with anything, really, you want to be humble. But like once you reach once you reach you know your point, you're like, yeah, I am that good. You know what I'm saying? Well, the confidence comes from the reps in the gym. Yeah. You feel me? Like, if you've been in the gym all year practicing for one thing, you're confident in that one thing. Right. You know what I mean, if, yeah, I, if I'm yeah. in the gym bench pressing and then you're like, yo, bro, let's bench press, I'm confident. All right, yeah. let's go. Like, because let's go. I, exactly. I put the work you know in. You Once you put that work in, and another thing I'll say is when, you, when you've been through shit that's scarier than just being a little nervous to rap or, or scarier than um, having a business meeting or scarier than... You know what I'm saying? You're not nervous no more about those things. Yeah. When you have to worry about other real life situations, like, I, so I do stand up comedy. The reason why, when I first did stand up comedy, I wasn't too, too nervous. I, I've been through a lot of shit in my real life. Right. So, you know what I mean? Where I'm like, so y'all scared to come up here and tell some jokes? I can't be scared. <laughs> I've been through the scariest shit before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been down before. So, when I do this, it's like, damn, this is kind of releasing. This is helpful for me. Right. You know, this is therapeutic more. Like, do you feel like that about your music? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I definitely do because, like, the, check check me out, man. Like, like the whole like. So I'm I'm probably I probably believe in humility more than I believe in like being humble for me because I think that like humility is acknowledging that there's people before me and there'll be people after me that that rap, which is true. Like, I need to pay homage to the people that inspired me, the Damian Marleys, the Nas, right? You know, the, the J. Coles even, right? The Drakes, like all these people who are before me who are obviously amazing, right? But I also know that people are going to come after me as well. But the thing is, you know, when I have to be the most humble is when I'm in the studio and I have to relay a verse 85 times. You know what I'm saying? I have to be humble in there. I'm, I'm in there for hours working and working and working. To your point, the reps in the gym, the reps in right? The like gym. I'm, in, I'm in here working and I'm, and I'm busting my tail to like get this whole thing done. So now all of a sudden now someone's going to look at me like, oh, he's not humble. He thinks he's great. Well, my G, I just spent six hours oh, doing man. this. <laughs> so of course I feel like I'm good at it. What am I, so, what, why am I doing it then? Yeah. You know, like why, why am I stepping into a, into a, into a ring? And I saw um, Israel Adesanya, the UFC fighter, talk Go. about it. I love right? Goat, my favorite right? yeah. fighter. Yeah, like, and I, I watched him i watched him talk about it and he was saying 
he was like, he was like, you know, you know when I have to be humble when I'm in practice getting choked out. So why the heck am I going to be humble when I'm out here in my fights? Like mm -hmm. I, I put my work in, like I've already suffered. I've suffered so that I can be out here. So for me, I'm like, I've suffered. Like I've, I've done this. I've gone and I've performed at places where there were 10 people. You know, I've, I've done it. I've, I've suffered. So now all of a sudden someone's going to come at me and be like, oh, you need to be smaller around me. Cause no, like you want, you want me to be smaller around you, but I don't have to do that. Like that's like, I can, I can choose to be as big as I want to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's me, you know? Yeah. So that's kind of how I look at it. Yeah, and you're, you're, you're at a stage where, you know, you're, you're propelling right now. So good stuff, man. So you, you're, you're on tour. You had a couple stops before you made it to, to Boston. Uh, sorry, how's that? Sorry. How's that? Is that your first time experiencing something like that? Um, so not, not really. Um, like I've had, I've had a couple like mini, mini tours like here, here and there. I'm um, definitely post COVID or I guess pre COVID, pre, uh, like we're, well, so I don't know what we're in. We're like the edge of ending COVID. I don't know where we're at in yeah. life right now, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, somewhere there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right I, don't, there. I don't really know. Like Atlanta was open the whole time. So it's kind of really, it's kind of hard to tell, but, but no, I've had, I've had a couple stops like where I've tried to like bounce around, but, but I had a, a show at a, at a university and, and different stuff like that, which, which they went, they went really, really well. Um, I think, I think the crowds have, have all been very, very receptive and, mm -hmm. and kind of really like happy, happy to have me. I don't know if it's cause I'm the first person they've seen in a while or if it's because my music <laughs> is like exceptionally dope, but I'm going with it's exceptionally dope. Oh, absolutely. For so. sure. For sure. That, I'm pretty sure that's why it is, man. Um, that's super cool, man. I'm 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 happy that everything is 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 falling into the place pieces that it is, man. Um, I saw the feature that came out, super fire, man. Oh yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it. Hell yeah, yeah man. Appreciate it. Yeah, shouts out to Asante Farid, um, on on brand new pack, and shouts out to Play Play Beats, my little bro who's right here who made that beat as well. It's fire, man. I'm yeah. curious I, creator on the visuals. Okay. Yeah, so that's curious creator on those. Visuals. So when did you know like that you had to become an entrepreneur with this rap shit? Cause a lot of times, Ooh, people, that's a good question. When people are younger, they, they really think I, I'm a rap, I'm a song fire, I'm gonna get signed. But bitches and hoes in the car, and that's what they think. Uh, that's see. what they think. Yeah, you know what I'm it's saying? It's like a four step plan yeah. or some I'm shit. I'm gonna get a big ass chain. <laughs> it comes with bitches automatically. Easy peasy. So when did you find out? Like, yo, damn, I gotta pay for. Cause like you're saying, you know, your brother make beats. You know, you, a lot of your friends are in the same kind of industry a little bit right, right, so it right. keeps the money in-house but it also keeps the ownership in-house which right. is really important so talk about some of that yeah i mean so to be honest you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put anybody on blast but it was kind of like every time i talked to a label right and and they would show me the deal i'm like this doesn't make sense like this doesn't make sense like wh why would i why if i can do everything why would i then give it to you I don't understand, like, I don't understand how that works. Like, that's not, that's not computing. The math ain't mathing, right? So I'm like, so I'm like, so what we, so, so what you have to do in any, in any field that you're trying to get into, right? Yes, art is what I want to do. Creativity is what I want to do. Like, I want to do that. But at the same time, like, we need to make sure that we're about our business in some sort of way, right? Where is our return coming from? When is it coming back with anything that you do? Mm -hmm. Like, you have to, you have to think about that. Otherwise, ROI. you're just going to spin. Yeah, you're going to spin your, spin your wheels until there's nothing left. And the thing is, that's the difference, I think, between doing it like doing it the right way and then doing it for clout. Because mm -hmm. I don't like the, you know, what I'm saying like I, a chain is not going to make me rap better for me. You know, like so that's just not a part of my image. No knock on anybody who wears a chain, because for some people, that's a part of their identity. And that's a part that like makes them stand out, makes them comfortable. Cool. But for Jesus, for me, that doesn't work. So if that doesn't work for me, then I'm not going to step outside of that. So at the same time, right. Some people, I remember first getting into it, and you know everybody's a rapper, right? Every everybody is, right? <laughs> nah, no funny shit. Uh, yeah. yeah, everybody's a rapper, right? Especially with the with the technology, it's easier to try. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it, it's so it's so easy. I have in a song like you know, like they said they dropped a song, but who hasn't? You yeah. know, like like who really hasn't? Right. Like so, everyone's done it. So like, I don't want to drop a song and then sit back and be like, yeah. But now what? Like, okay, like, <laughs> like, what are we? What are we doing right, now? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we? What are we doing to really make this propel? What are we doing to move ourselves forward? It's kind of like if you're starting a business and you're like, okay, I wanna, I wanna sell water bottles, and then you're like, I bought a cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like now like, what? Now what? Now what? Right. what do we do? Start it up. Right. Yeah. So you have to, you have to put steps in place for sure. Man, I just that love, was all decent it, shit. Before. You know what it is? You know what? I, I love New York pizza, man. New York got the best pizza I ever fucking ate. <laughs> on everything. For my birthday, for my, I specifically make my family go to New York and get me pizza. Wow. For my birthday. Then I reheat it. 
and I eat that shit in my crib. <laughs> I get high, I watch a movie, because I'm real simple with what I like, and I like what I like. So I, a steak for dinner, New York pizza for lunch, and that's it. I'm home, I get high, I watch What's my What's for breakfast, movie. though? Nothing, because I want to cool, save cool. the calories. Yeah, I, I want to save breakfast. the calories. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. They said you shouldn't. I, I love but breakfast. Like, I love breakfast, but I skipped the calories that day. I started gotcha. reading that you should uh, drink tea and like eat fruit and not eat until like a couple hours after. But I'm not. As I said, I'm learning, man. I'm trying to learn. Well, bro, if we go over everything that we should do, like we're, <laughs> we're, in, we're in trouble. <laughs> like, you know, For what I'm real. like we're in a dark place. Oh man, no, you just true, have like bro. the caution things like shining over the. The yeah, top over yeah, here, man. That's, that's a that's a tough. If one. If we had to be fucking perfect, seriously, man. Which which is this shirt literally perfect with a slash through it? Oh shit! Because like I'm nice. not right. Like no one is. So I'm yeah. just like yeah. That 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 old perfect thing, man. I let that thing go. Yeah. To be honest, when I stopped playing basketball. Oh, because basketball yeah. ain't cocky sport. Bro, basketball. When Basketball's was, all about eagles. Yeah, basketball. Suck basketball. My dick like, like what, nigga? Yeah. What? You have a basket? Like, hold my dick. I'm like, <laughs> that's that's another thing I wanted to talk to you about because I do mm-hmm. hear a lot of sports references on on your music. Um, so you you obviously played soccer. Something unfortunate happened, or fortunate, however you want to see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you also sure. played basketball. What what it, did that um, fuel like your the competitive nature that that is expected in hip hop for you? So to be honest, probably what fueled my competitive nature more was that I was a fighter. So I used to fight actually. Um, and, and that kind of, that is really what fueled it. Um, and, and really, I think the reason for that is because like basketball and, and soccer, if you will, um, they're, they're team oriented. So you need so many people for, for things to go right. Right. You know, you, you at least need like somebody, but that's the thing in a fight, man, it's, it's just you, you know what I'm saying? And, and there's, and nobody can save you, but you. Right. So like that definitely. So 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 the sports aspect, I think, definitely like fuels it. Right. But to me, I just don't feel like fighting is a sport. We're in survival. It's now. a competition. more. Yeah. Than like sport, we're in. Yeah. So like you can't like like you can't. You're you trying to survive. Yeah. The you other don't dude. play fighting. Yeah. Like, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? like, like, like that's not like we're not like I, pl- I can play basketball. Right. But like if you're swinging on me, we're not playing. No. Yeah, yeah, well, like, we hurting each other. Yeah, like that's not, you know, what I'm saying? Like, we're not, yeah, yeah. We're not playing. So. So, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about that. But definitely sports have definitely pushed me to be like competitive. You know, yeah, yeah. Competitive. Yeah. No, nah, I'm. You, we don't come out here to lose. No, yeah. yeah, say, come say on, that. Don't say, on. That. Say, say that. that. Say that. Say that. Y'all ain't out here to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like we're we're not out here to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like we're out here to to compete. To right. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, because sometimes no funny shit is it's a doggy dog world, and and the the reality is if there's if there's a market, people are looking at who's better. So whether that's agents, whether that's you know I have a bunch of money, I decide who to give it to. So if you're going harder than him, I'm going to give it to you. And so a lot of times, even like for me in comedy, you make sure you do your best work. When you go perform on stage, when you go rap, when you do, you do a concert, you might get a, one new fan. So you got to make sure you kill, that you're, you're unforgettable, you're better than the next dude. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so I feel like in music, you got to have a little bit of that ego, a little bit that I'm better than you. You have to have it. But again, if you're putting in the reps... Why yeah. not? Yeah, you why know what not? I'm saying. Like, why not? Why can't? Why can't I feel like I'm? And the thing is, to me, to me, it's not even like. I think it's always like the the problem when people are like, "Oh, I'm so good." They always like want to point out and bring up somebody else's name, right? You see what I'm saying? Like, like I don't got like I'm amazing. I I I am a great artist. I am an amazing artist. Period. I don't have to say anybody's name to validate yeah. that. You see yeah, what I'm saying? I was with so and so. Yeah, like or or like yeah, I'm better than like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I'm not. He's not. He's not me. I'm not him. Like or I'm best, or I'm, I'm not her. You know. I'm the best out of this area. Yeah, like Poor like territory. Yeah. It's territory. kind of like the sinking man. The sinking man's always gonna push the other one down, so his head stays afloat. Right, so right, it's, right. it's kind of weird. But um, is that kind of what you meant when you said that you know comparisons are are mainly to divide? Is that is that yeah comparisons are focused on division mm-hmm. yeah comparisons are focused on division it's like you, you're just coming out like to be like oh you're you're like this person you're like that person it's just to try to invalidate you know you guys like like Your someone's gonna look at this show and see some any any other show that has four mics and they're gonna be like y'all copied them like yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's a podcast g that's like, what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? that's like, it yeah Ain't but that like, deep. yeah but but that's just that's just something that that happens and 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 you know i i just had once i realized that once I realized that, like a lot of those, like a lot of those negative comparisons, was just to divide. It was just to kind of create a divisiveness. 
Um, but at the same time, I think in music, it's very important to draw a line. So for instance, like if I make my music for everyone, I make it for no one. Right. So I have to draw a line. Some people are going to love me and some people are going to hate me. But if I never draw a line, no one will really fully connect to it. No one will ever really be like, yeah, yeah that's my artist. You know, like they won't ever like make that mm -hmm. investment come across yeah. because they don't have there's no there's no line. Like what what do you stand for? What do you believe in? What do you stand on? Like that's those are important questions like in in, in any field. Absolutely. For sure. Enough, and right? in business is one of the main things that they teach you, especially like in the marketing side, when you're trying to discover who the target market is or the segment. You know, like right. if you say like, yo, uh, iPhone is for everybody. Well, it's hard to say iPhone because iPhone yeah, is, is literally, tough. Yeah, but like <laughs> this is for everybody. It's really for nobody because you're not specializing. It's hard for the people to feel a connection. Where's the uniqueness in it? Yeah, it's hard to people to people to feel like associated with it or, or right, like right. they matter. Right. Yeah. Like if you if y'all came out with like say that running shoes, right? <laughs> right. Say that running shoes. Right. Like like a 60 year old's not buying them. No. Yeah. So there's no reason to market them to, exactly. to 60 year olds. You know who else is not buying them? Probably five year olds. They're probably not buying them either. They yeah. don't care. They don't, yeah, right? they, don't they don't care anything about say this, say that. But yeah. whoever you're marketing, <laughs> like they don't care. Like cause, cause they're, 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 shoot, they're kids. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but again, like just because there's a group that doesn't care, it doesn't mean that there's not a group that does. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, like there, I'm sure there's people sitting right now and they're going to see this and be like, dude, I hate that dude. I see him everywhere. Yeah, you know, no, no, <laughs> well, there's a reason why <laughs> people are, people just hate, man. It's in their blood. It's, yeah. And it's also, like I said earlier, when you got too much time again, you just hate on that motherfucker because you think, damn, that, that should be me. That could be me. I'm just not trying. Everybody's biggest Ooh. shit, like, if I wanted to, I could have. That's everybody's yeah, big excuse. Like, really, it's like, yeah, you could, but, like, you ain't. He said, yo, if yeah. I really wanted to rap, bro, I really, I would be popping like crazy. Would you? Yeah, yeah but, I mean, that's just, that's, that, I mean, to be honest, that's a great point. Because I feel like, I feel like I was there at one point. I really do. I think I was, I think I was there. That's just a part of your process of say, saying that just means, like, I, like, I think deep down, I was like, I don't believe in myself. Right? Oh, I could. Oh, Okay. You know, I, I could do a lot of things. Anybody could. Anybody could do a lot right. of like, things. Like anyone, anyone can can do anything, but it's about the people who actually do. Because I always, um, one of my old coaches used to say that like, um, they were saying like 60% of people are going to talk about what they want to do and never do it, right? The other the other 20%, the other 20% to get you to 80 are going to talk about what they want to do and they're going to take one step towards it, but not finish it. And then the other 20% are the ones that are going to take like active steps towards it. But it's really only like that top 10% that are just going to say, you know, what, I'm going to follow through the whole way mm -hmm. and get it and get it done. And I'll, I'll never forget that. That that really stuck with me. He told me that after I got knocked out. So I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll, I remember that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you 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 came in with a with a with a new f meaning of life, <laughs> for sure. Because he was like, "Are you this sixty, yeah. or are you?" You know what I'm saying? Like it was really motivating, so I needed it for sure. But you also have to know, like some people, I tell them, maybe maybe you're not a rapper. Like people, they think because I love music, I gotta rap, bro. There's a f there's fifty other jobs in music that maybe you're better at. And I always tell people, don't be scared that if you you know if you want to transfer over to the video side or the beat side. Or the ma mixing or the mastering, you don't know what you're gonna fall in love with. Mm -hmm. it, just because you love rapping or you think that's what you want to do, I always tell people be a student of the game. Some people start as rappers, but become harder producers than they were. Young Bird, Young Bird was a a decent rapper. He had a little career as a producer. He probably makes crazy money. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, don't be scared to to maneuver play hide and seek exactly yeah, to play hide and seek yeah, yeah. No, for real. you gotta you gotta you gotta just find because maybe that rapper will, will like that wannabe rapper will be a good beat maker and then all of a sudden there you go that's where you're good at i think that's but it's like i feel like and i, and I, I don't really mean to again sound like a grandpa but it's kind of like the veil of social media you know what i'm saying it's like well if you see an instagram influencer rap then some random high school broad is going to think she can too or he can't too you know what yeah, i mean because yeah, yeah. it's gotten like or at least that's they're trying to maneuver this point where like everybody can rap but it's like you know we've heard that for the last like five years but it's like no everyone can't rap you know what i'm saying there has to be like a select someone who's like really good good at it and takes it like seriously like yourself you know what i'm saying you put mm -hmm. your lyrics into it you put a story behind it you know you put all these people surrounding you so you have a good team behind it as well and that's what people don't realize is that like yeah you can rap but like you're not gonna why would you do it for fun when you know you're probably not gonna be 
as good as someone who takes it seriously. Right, right, right. I think I think we have this like it probably is starting starting a little bit with like youth sports. I think is where we're starting it, like where everyone gets a trophy. Right. Like, can't like can't every, do it. You got to create competition. You know, like everyone everyone gets a trophy, so we can already see why that's problematic. Facts. Right? Because when you interview for a job, not everyone gets it. No. Right? Like not not everyone not everyone has certain levels of success, but when you're starting to condition people that I deserve something like I, I deserve everything I want in life by just existing and showing it, up. Yeah, it does. Like showing up is so important. Don't get me wrong. So for everybody out there, show up. You got to show up for sure. But now, now you have to realize, like when you, like when you separate yourself, right? You have to, you have to separate yourself in in certain ways because I, I just don't, I just don't know how healthy it is to to give everyone an award when people are performing differently. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, like I, I, I don't can't I don't, judge that. Yeah, it's a tough. That's 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 sticky for me. So and and like no, and like sure. you said, like it starts with youth sports, and I get they're young, but it's like you have to start it young because if they're you know fifteen, sixteen, getting second place, still expecting to get something. You know what I'm saying? It's like why are they? Gonna what do you think? Or not go, even playing in a title game, just some you know random game where everyone has fun. It's like, well, they're they're entering that young adult stage, and they're already ain't prepared for people to tell them no or to have some something or someone be better than them. No, I'm with you with that subject. as well because it doesn't reward hard work. It just rewards like participate. It just it literally you, you just showed rewards up, participation. Here you go. So why would you go two days of being sore because you ran hill sprints? You know, right. why, why would you go through that if you're still gonna get the same thing as the dude that? Right. Like like you said, you're putting in the work. That's so like, 32 you got to separate the hurt. You just yeah. do. You yeah. know, rap, of course, is for everyone. Music, obviously, is subjective. But, like, when you know someone's a good artist, you really hear it. Right, right. And th- the thing is, it doesn't mean that they ca- that they can't still do it. Oh, right. Right? Like, yeah. of course, like, everybody, anybody can do, like, could, right? Anybody can yeah, do yeah, whatever. Anybody like, can anybody, do anybody can do that. Like, no one's ever going to stop you from doing that. But now we can't expect our reward systems to kind of fall in that same place because Facts. when is the first place that you're go- when is the first time you're going to experience rejection? When is the first time you're going to experience disappointment? Is that going to be when you're 18 and you're turned down from getting a scholarship because you you just you didn't work but you thought you deserved one because you you right. played you you played basketball in high school? Like that doesn't it doesn't work like that. So so like there has to be I think a point where where you're getting disappointed, you're getting let down because that emotion is is real. And I think that's why you see so many people who just lash out crazy. They deal with their first breakup when they're 20. This is the first time they've yeah. ever had anything crazy. Yo, I tell and that now they're like, time. you know, they're yeah. going crazy. Yeah. They don't know how to react. Yeah, and they're and they're like nearly breaking down almost like they they can't even survive the that's it feels like they can't real. even survive Facts. it. You know, because they've never they've never had something that's like disappointed them. You know, mm-hmm. like they've never had someone look them mm-hmm. in the face and be like, You lost. Yeah. Like, right. but, but like I've lost, you know, like everyone here has lost. There's nothing wrong with losing, mm-hmm. right? Like losing is such a part of life. I love, all of my losses have taught me so much. It's the biggest teacher. Right? Yeah. Like, cause we all, we learn more cognitively. We learn more from mistakes than we do from our successes. Cause mm-hmm. that mistake is what we'll remember and say, okay, this is how I can do it differently. Success doesn't teach you anything. Success is like is, just, is like a drug. Success just shows you you can do it. It yeah. gives you, know you comfort. Saying? It gives you comfort. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I'm, I'm good here. But now nah, you... You, you got to go down sometimes to go up. Like, that's that's probably the worst part of... Well, it's one of the toughest parts about yeah, life is, yeah, is going down. Absolutely, go the uh, uncertainty of things. But, you know, talking about experiences, up and downs, emotions, rejection, and stuff like that, um, I feel like you channeled a lot of those emotions in, in, in your storytelling with this new album, Welcome to Life. Um, so what, what was the overall, you know, message that you wanted to transpire from this album? That's a that's a really good question actually. Um so I I felt like I felt like I really just wanted to like be be honest, right? Like be be 100% like like honest with like what I was trying to do and really like find myself. Because I felt like um 33 degrees I really wanted to like um jump on which by the way J4 is the is the uh the voice on it in the beginning and the end. Oh, um, okay, yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's what that is in the beginning of the end of that. So so yeah, 33 degrees um I I did I did a, a lot with like um struggling to reveal um that I for some reason like that I grew up in Israel because I just felt like it wouldn't really connect that I grew mm-hmm. up in West Bank, I grew up in Ma'ala Dumim. You know, shouts out to yeah, nobody, you like, know, Kola Israelim Shali Shalom, my name. Um, but yeah, so gang, it's like, gang, gang. right. <laughs> so it's, it's just one of those things, like you know, to be able to like open up and like show everything. Um, the relationship that I have with my parents um, that that wasn't necessarily that 
you know, that that great. Right. But just mm -hmm. trying to show people like there's there's tragedy to triumph. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't you know, like I had a really, really rough time with with my with my parents like coming up. Um, I was separated from them for a long time. Like I said, I was homeless. I, like I went through a lot, but I just wanted to show that like, hey, look, this happened. You can get here. And then I also sh talk a lot about like reconciliation mm -hmm. as well, like to show that. So just finding out like, who am I now? You know, it was really important. No, I just I just love the uh, the whole transition of, of of how you can actually feel the emotions like when 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 you're saying it. Um, and I did do the the whole nerdy thing on you know, listening to it backwards. And it kind of takes you to like a different story because I feel like, um, at least for me, when I listen to it, obviously it's, it's all perception. Um, I feel like it starts, if you're listening to it in order, it starts like, at least emotionally, like almost a little dark, almost. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it kind of like clears up and then it gives you like, a little dark again and then like it, it's like happy vibes like at the end yeah yeah yeah, you know, yeah at least sonically you know what i mean so is that is that kind of what you was aiming for so to be honest i don't know if i was like aiming for it um to be real i mean me and me and play play beats we we sit down and we're just like yo how are we gonna chop this thing up like like what are we gonna do because like the priority is to make a song that's like real and true like how can we be honest you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like what's the most honest thing that we can do um, and, and that's kind of really what it, what it broke down into. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I, like I was just, because it was welcoming you to my life, literally, I wanted to keep it like balanced because I'm not like one thing all the time. So mm -hmm. like, I'm not dark all the time. I'm not happy all the time. So I wanted to be fair, like fair to like, to the people when I was like, welcome to life. Like, how can I be fair with it? as far as like expressing myself. So I, I thought a lot of those songs were, were that way. The only one that I felt like was kind of like exceptionally like, Eek, that's one's kind of tough was Find My Way. Find My Way? Find My Way, I was like, ugh. You know, that one is- Why is that? Opened up too much? Not, not that I opened up too much, but like, um, it was just the, now that I've been running through the West Bank, starting not to care what my friends think, but that's how life goes. Got some old friends who are rivals and now they feel entitled because they knew us way before we went viral. Like that to me was like. I hope they don't take this personal. Type yeah. Of thing. Like, but, but it's like, but you got to say time, that though. No pun intended. You yeah. got to say shit like that because yeah. you got to get it off your chest. Yeah. That's kind of how I felt. So I was like, I got to, I got to just get it, get it off. That's you it. know, like, like let it, let it go. Um, you know, and then I was talking about my family in it too. Like, so I was like, I just, mm -hmm. I was just being, being completely honest, you know, and like even talking about like played the whole 90 and still wasn't eating well, you know, like, like being in school, like it was rough, like, you know, them, them scholarships don't always come in how you want. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Like you kind of struggling, but you still got to play and you still got to make it, make it, make it out. But I think people saw the picture that it was like perfect. So right. then I was just like, man, I'm smashing. I was looking in. Yeah. So like, I'm like, I'm smashing this picture. And it was just like, I was like, well, then I was just like, man, forget it, man. Either they're going to like it or they won't. Because that's always what happens anyway. That's it. Facts. Facts. That's I it. Mean, they have they to interpret you, it. They fuck with you, man. That's <laughs> right. the, that's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the truth. If you're telling your honest truth about yourself, you, they, they, people can't get mad. And if, you, and if you're mad about how I feel, it's, we, don't have to be, we don't have to be friends all the time. It just sucks because it's like, if... I want you to feel, if I fuck with you, I want you to feel how you feel. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't want you restricted. I don't want you to have to, every time you're around me, think about how you're going to move or how I think about mm -hmm. how you, nah, feel how you feel, bro. Feel how you feel. Right, right. As a whole, because that's, that's going to help your soul, bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We're out here to grow at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're out here to grow, and, and death is chasing all of us. Like, we all going to go, you know? It's chasing us some faster than others, but. No funny, I, I would know. say. The best day is every day. You know what I mean? Every time people every ask time me. Every time you wake up above ground, it's a good day. Every time people ask me how you do, I'm like, bro, I'm good because I'm alive. And that's, people don't understand, like, niggas die every day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. you can live the perfect life. You can be healthy. You can work out. You go to the gym. You can do everything. You can volunteer. You, you, you still That's the die. only thing that's yeah. guaranteed, unfortunately. It's death. You know? It's death. That's why. You got to work hard. That's why Jesus, you a perfect example of that. You, you know, you grab life like that. You know, you've Appreciate been through it. it. You see it in your music. That's why. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I appreciate that's it. That's a great girl. example. You're a great example to go to for something like that. But you know that that's not the that's not the right timing. Talk about death, but you just mentioned something about timing in, in a song that I really liked. You said it, it had to do something with relationships where um, you know, 
a lot of these women could could be the the right person. You could feel like she's the right person, but timing is crazy, you know. And I'm, oh man, I, you know, I, I, you know what? No, I gotta say because I'm, I'm experienced. I, I went through like a similar experience myself, you know. Where fuck I, that I, bitch, I, I got your back, Mike. Yeah, I got bro. your back. Thank you, bro. Don't fuck worry about that, bro. Thank you, bro. She broke my nigga heart, dog. Up Yo, J, nah, J, J four in the building got my back too. Um, <laughs> you already know, but um, nah, for real, like I feel like sometimes you meet the person, a, a person, and you feel like they're perfect for you. Um, but the timing was just messed up because of your circumstances. It doesn't have to yeah. necessarily be the, a relationship, but give us an example of how yeah, you yeah. maybe experienced that. Uh, I mean, I mean, to be honest, man, like, let's be, let's be real. Like we out here living, you know what I'm saying? There's <laughs> going to be, there's going to be relationships, yeah. um, you know, however, however you have them, whether that's friendships, whether that's intimate mm -hmm. relationships, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a, a little shawty, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever it is. What big shawty? Yeah. Or big shawty? Or, yeah. Or, Shout yeah, to yeah, my big yeah. girls. <laughs> hey. Or, Never or, forget them. Yeah, yeah, no, no for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think I think timing timing is is definitely everything because the thing is, um, like you you could have met your soulmate, but that could be seven years from now yeah. that, that that would actually work. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got, bro, we all got issues. Yeah, all of us. We yeah. all got issues. We all got insecurities. We all got problems. We all got traumas. We right. all got stuff that we haven't dealt with. Yo, no fun. I thought no girl was gonna love me because my feet stink. I'm like, dog. <laughs> That's you know certainly what I mean? something new. Not no funny because when I was younger, I'm like, damn, ain't no bitch gonna love me. My feet stink, my nigga. But God, bro, I'm gonna die alone. Like when you're younger, you really think like you're gonna die alone. Like you're saying, timing is really everything. You grow up and. Everything that you used to kind of subscribe to, you don't subscribe to no more. Y your theories change, how you feel change. Right. You know, you go through one relationship and you kind of, you, you, it goes good, then you fuck up, and then you can learn from it. Like you're saying, you make those mistakes, you learn from it. Yeah, and I mean, I think in that in that line you're referring to is time and was crazy. You married with baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah my so like, God, bro. so I mean, like, I mean, the thing is, the thing is about it is like, yeah, you can link up with somebody and be like, yeah, this is this, yeah, I feel like, yeah, this is compatible, but like, our lives aren't. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like our, our lives aren't. So because our lives aren't like like and I'm not and you're not willing to make like certain sacrifices, yeah. then you have to you have to literally do it everybody has to approach their life with themselves being the number one priority. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Because because that way everybody can meet at a place where like we're good. Because as soon as I as soon as you start to dim your light for someone else, right? Yeah. I think that that's just asking for it. Cause I would rather not deal with a certain relationship not deal with it at all than to be in one that's just terribly toxic right? yeah i really like how you said it you you had and obviously i'm gonna paraphrase um mm -hmm. but you had a line like that too where it was like you know i had to make the decision chase my dream and it was either you or me and it, and at the end of the day it comes down to that like uh, you know fortunately or unfortunately but yeah it promotes growth yeah i mean man anytime anytime you feel like life slaps you it like teaches you so so much like i'll never forget so you're um, a fighter, so you might slap back, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, it's, not, hey, it's all it's all, PR all move. it's all love. It's all love. It's all love. Um, it's all love for real. But but yeah, so so when after I dropped recovery, I actually went up to New York. Um, I was up here with J Four. We were running around, um, doing different shows, radio interviews, all that different type of stuff. Um, but my my friend had passed, like probably what probably like a couple weeks before. And I was like jacked up. Like this one jacked me up. And I've experienced loss a lot, but this one was a little bit, no, it was a lot different. Just because of the, there were different like scenarios and elements that I had to like be a lot more a part of than I probably wanted to. Mm. Um, but, I, but I had to be because, you know, in honor of him and in honor of his family, like I definitely wanted to, wanted to do that. But just feeling that strain and that pressure, I was up in New York and I, I was in the room with uh, Play Play Beats and we're sitting down and we're just like, man, like, let's make a song. And you know what we made? Gone Again. Right? It's the strain of like, of just being like, uh, like being in that like low place. And I was like, you know what? Like, I, like, I got it. Like, there's something in here. Gone Again hits different. And though. I just remember like every line, I like, as soon as I was going through it, I was just like, I was like trying to come out of something. And the next thing you know, I was like, yo, this thing right here is... Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah, like the yeah. first bar, like you feel the energy. Feel the energy, man. Facto. So. Yeah. Facto. But, yeah, sure. you know, I feel like even just talking to you, you have that some people are good at dosing out information where it's digestible to a lot of people. And I feel like you have that, bro. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I didn't always have it. I think people would told me that I was in college. They were like, yo, you're way too complicated. 
But I was like, bro, you're just not listening. Exactly. Yeah. That's you're, just you're you not paying too. attention, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's just you. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So that's that's kind of what it is. But yeah, no, I I definitely always feel like those places of strain will will they always take you higher. So yeah, they promote growth. Yeah, and whoever broke your heart, bro. Man, F them, dog. No, 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 no. It was growth. It was growth. It was growth. It was growth. Man. Right. Fuck that. No, no but as long, you as know, long as it's growth, you know what I'm saying? Of nah, course. On a real, on a real. Yeah. These girls are users and abusers. <laughs> Fuck these hoes, man. <laughs> oh, Call out you my married. name, Mike Collins. It's Stephanie. <laughs> it's Stephanie. <laughs> No, no, no. It's all, it's, it's all love. I mean, the thing is, if the timing just wasn't good, then it wasn't yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, no, but I, I, was, I was just reference it, referencing it because it was definitely one of the many that I was like, damn, that hit home. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? And that's sure. the good thing about, like, you know, opening up and, and, and being vulnerable with your music. You know, like, a lot of these people, everybody's in a, we're emotional creatures. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. if you're saying something that we can relate to, it definitely, you know, creates that mental image for us. It's gonna, you know, bring you back to the song. So, right, right, right. It's really cool sure. that you're you're able to portray that, man. I appreciate that, man, for sure, for sure, man. So, you know, here on say that, not not sure how, how, if you if you guys were familiar, but you know, we're all about giving back. Um, so this is your time, man. To love, shout out to your people, man. Um, let them know what's going on. What can they expect? Where to find you? Where to find you? Yes, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, um, I am uh, Jesus underscore music on Instagram. That's H E Y Z O O Z underscore music. Um, so that's where you can find me on on IG. Um, you can obviously find me on Spotify. H E Y dash Z O O Z. Gotta have the dash. If it's not the dash, it's not me. Um, but I just want to shout out like number one, like all the fans that I have that supported me because like that's been that's been a crazy experience just just with them, um, you know, being able to come through. I want to thank my ancestors who have gotten me through so many different things. You know what I'm saying? For real, like on on just from from top to bottom, um, everybody should should read um, healing healing wisdom of Africa. Love the book. Um, it's really, really powerful. Um, but shouts out to my, to J4. Um, who's always been looking out um, since since forever. Um, they've always had me, always looked out. Yes, J4, right? You already know. Um, my team, Blunders, Curious Creator, Your Giuno, Play Play Beats. Um, I just really appreciate um, everything that they've been able to do. Um, shouts out to all of the players that I coach. So all of the amateurs and the pros, all the, all the young ones that I've gotten um, like scholarships. It's been really cool to be a part of that um, because that's, that's one of the things that I'm passionate about is trying to go back into the community and um, using what I have and what I am good at to provide opportunity. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. Awesome. What up, man? Hey, man. First of all, thank you for coming, Zeus. I appreciate yes, sir, it. Yes, you know, it's a blessing, great conversation. Uh, I want to thank myself. Shout out to myself. I work hard. <laughs> I work hard. I do, man. Hey, I stay up, up man. late. I work hard. I love my family. God always gives me a chance to provide. Man, I just love life. Shout out to me. Shout out to the team, bro. Y'all work so so hard, man, to make sure we have a good platform, to make sure we get amazing artists, to make sure that we could, you know, get flowers while people can smell them, man. So thank yes, you. For yes, yes, and shouts out to you guys, man. Because Absolutely. the thing is, like, y'all are y'all are doing y'all's thing. Like, you know, like this is this is a dope. This was a dope experience. The hospitality was amazing. Like everything was lined up like exactly how it was supposed to be. I have no I have no gripes. I have no issues. So if anybody said they have an issue with say that podcast, they're telling you. Never. Yeah. 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 Niggas be lying. Certified. I appreciate that, man. So so nah. So so y'all please please keep doing your thing because it's it is a it is a great experience for, for artists to come up here. And I see you guys don't you guys don't just just try to pick from the top of the tree. You know what I'm saying? You try to give opportunities to people who who really deserve it, who you feel like are, are working and and they may not be exactly where they want to be yet, but some but but they are they are working. So that's that's dope and that's super important. Like it's it's I think it it might be way more important than maybe even you guys realize. Yeah. Um, you Facts. know what I'm saying? Like it, I appreciate it is, that. you know what I'm saying? Cause that for some people with when they sit down with you guys and have their first interview and you guys are like attentive and you really like have specific things that you want to talk about, like all oh, that's major for sure. Thanks, right. man. Cool. Mike, yeah, Mike first. Hey, man. Hey, yeah, man. Yeah. First, first and foremost, shout out to the team. Thank you, guys. That, you it's always a saying, pleasure huh? to have the opportunity to do this. You hey, Zeus, that. yo, bro, for real. Yes, thank sir. you so sir. much. No, From fan you, to interviewing you, man, it's been a great, bro. Seriously. Awesome. Shout awesome. out to the team, man. J4, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Um, and yeah, man, and last but not least, thank you, God. Yes, Amen. sir. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, again, Jesus, my guy. I can't believe this, but thank you. Really, coming up like that, coming from Thanks from for the Atlanta. shirt. You came ahead of yeah, man. You got me swagged out. You got me Trick swagged out, too, yeah, with the team. Y'all already know. <laughs> man, it's with another great episode. Another one.
But if y'all don't know, though, don't say this. Say that. I agree. New York, check it out. J4 to the world. Blunders, 33 degrees. Yeah. Yo, shouts out to Say That Podcast for bringing us out here. Yeah. They're getting this one first, because I think this one's going to go on an album or something. Hey, hey. This is it. This that sit it down and write it. This the wick, how they thought they would ignite us. We legit, this money ain't on my wrist, but this is what happens when they've been living through pics. Already in my passion, spitting now, getting drastic. Killing beats been a habit. Spitting clean, you wouldn't know if I had it. Playing games, but they got caught up in baggage. Try me, I'll snap back like elastic. Used to be PC, but then I switched up and macked it. Just that Bruce Lee, Return of the Dragon. I'm leading from the front, so I don't care who you backing. It's really all theatrics, they should know when you acting. I finally made it here, my intellect getting clear So this is just an idea, I'm leaving people in tears Is you crazy? Indigenous ancestors made me Know you brainwashed, if you hear four games I'll sweep you guys like it's playoffs I don't think you want the chaos Got my feet kicked up like it's a day off Quit my nine to five and it paid off uh, To show up what you really made of I'm too legit, yeah, and now I got a crucifix Got all this talent and I'm using it yeah, they want it know now that I broadcast. Shouts out to everybody at Say That Podcast. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, y'all. Yo, Zeus, Night of Greatness, June 13th. Don't forget, J4 to the world. If you didn't already know, Blunders 33s. Zeus. Hey. Yeah. Woo. 30. Hey. 33. They said I was ready. They compared me to Hetty. Why? Get it done where I come from. Wanna play games, you can run one. Holding it steady, dirty confetti. And it's been driving me crazy. I got what I came with, making some changes. Running from me, cause I'm dangerous. Look how I'm making a statement. Cooking up, give me an apron. I know when you watching, didn't give you an option. It's the weekend, I've been hitting it often. Killing beats, but we didn't eat. It's a vendetta, gon' get to the cheddar. And she's on my side like Berettas and birds of a feather. They flocking together, but she got a friend and she popping it better. It's making me hot and I'm checking the weather. Atlanta United, we did it together. It's on me, yeah. They gon' fold like laundry. <laughs>